I received a pardon from President Clinton and my life was completely changed and now I advocate for all these women who are serving uh, 20 to life and they deserve a second chance too. I'm President Obama, we appreciate what you've done but we know you can do a lot better. We haven't seen very many women that received a commutation yet. So let's get busy with the women. I served time with Angie. Angie is a wonderful person. She um, has already been in since 1998. Uh, she has small children who've grown up without her. Angie Jenkins would be an excellent candidate for clemency. She has an impeccable record in prison. She's uh, taken every course the BLP has to offer. And please, President Obama, start granting more clemencies for women. clemency to Ramona Brandt. This is Ramona Brandt. Today, she's walking out of prison for the first time in 21 years. <laughs> if Obama was here, I would give him a big kiss, hug him, and tell him thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Not just for her, but the other inmates also that are being released on today. We did it. We made it. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> She's serving life without parole. She's already served over 20 years. She's been in since 1992. It's time to reunite her. Her children were small when she went into prison. Now they're all grown and they have families. Please, Josephine Ledesma has an excellent record in prison. She's never, ever gotten in trouble, never even gotten a shot once. Josephine Ledesma. 24 years ago, Josephine Ledesma was sent to federal prison for drug offenses. And she was supposed to spend the rest of her life there. But yesterday, her sentence was commuted by President Obama. And Ed Lasko says her family in Riverside can hardly wait to welcome her home. And so we both started screaming on the phone, crying and just screaming. Lizette and her brother Caesar so excited and relieved their mother Josephine Josie Ledesma will soon be back home, leaving a federal prison after having her life sentence commuted. There's flaws in the system and, and, and that's... I think everybody kind of knows that there's some, you know, there's a lot of people in there I believe now that shouldn't be in there and, and uh, but you know what's, what's, what's done is done. I think but President Obama changes all of that, commuting the sentences of more than 200 federal inmates, 67 going to inmates serving life sentences like Ledesma, who's convicted of conspiracy charges for giving money to someone who's found in possession of cocaine. Serana Jones is serving life without parole for a first offense. The Washington Post, Huffington Post, so many people have done articles about her case. She has a lot of media exposure. Her clemency petition has been in for over three years. Sharonda Jones has a petition with over 250,000 signatures calling for her clemency. Please, Sharonda Jones is a first offender serving life without parole. President Obama, please get busy and start granting more clemencies to women. <laughs> Demarius Thomas, football player on the Denver Bronco team. His mother received 20 years, her name is Katina, and Obama did grant a commutation to his mother. But his grandmother is serving life without parole. Minnie Pearl has a commutation in, and we're hoping that in the next batch, you will reunite Demarius and Katina with Katina's mother and Demarius's grandmother. Minnie is an excellent candidate for clemency. Lady. She actually um, trains dogs in prison to be service 
that she uh, wholeheartedly admits that she was a meth addict and she was hanging out with people. But again, she needed rehab and not incarceration. Regardless, she's been incarcerated since 2002. She's already done over 10 years. Please grant clemency to Pauline Blake. conspiracy statute. Conspiracy means that if you do one overt act, you're guilty for everything that other people did. Christmas, so you can do it. Love you, love you like a father.